Hello, today I would like to show you how to do chin button or shank button that is covered by fabric. Uh, you can use 10 cent, 5 cent or whatever suit your button's whole size. But I prefer you use some button. Um, not not it is it's not very flat. You can say this one. It's flat one size, but one side is not flat. So I do something like this, or like this, like this. But uh, this is the one I prefer because it has a, um, a hole at the bottom for we uh, for us to put together with, with the garments we want. So I prefer this one. This one is good. Okay, so now we do the flat one first. I use 10 cent, yeah. You cut around about one centimeter. If you want it look right, you have to do by ruler. And if you do this way, it's nicer. And I use a double stitching, uh, a double thread. You make it close, small stitching as you can. And remember one end, you have to lock one end. And you see a uh, small needle as you can If you use the, the 10 cents, the reason we use the 10 cents because the look of the 10 cents, the, the, the look of the 10 cents is flat and it looks like chin button. Yeah, and then you just pull it. I do it again because I've already video did not show it. Yeah, okay. You make it must be make it stay at the middle of your picture and then you pull it very tight to make sure it look very good outside and now we do one more time 
and then and then I I will crook one more time no no I got that sorry my English is not very good okay I do one more round and then I got the again You just um, sew this one and this one together, that's all. And make it strong as possible. Yeah, okay, all done. Now, we start with the shang, shang button. Okay, this one. We have a hole so it's easy to put to your clothes. So this one. So how about I choose this one this time? So this one about this size so I borrow this. Oh no. With this one, we don't have to cut very wide because we just have enough to cover around the rear, that's enough. We don't have to cover the whole button. So in this case, I just cut around about one centimeter. Now the same, we lock one in. Okay, and now we do other end. Okay. If you want it look nice, do small stitching as you can. And that will gather very nicely. Okay, now you can put this one, put the button in, make sure it's at the middle, and then you hold it, and then gather around. And then this time, you do the same with the other one, gather one more time. With this one, you you can trim a little bit this area if you want. If not, you 
you still can use the hole here to put to the garment. Okay. I give you one example. For example, the weight is here. Okay. You Sorry. Okay. You can view for example. You can put through the hole here. Through the hole. Yeah. And then through the hole again. So that that if you want stronger, you do a few times, and then you turn around around at the bottom before you finish it, and then backward forward the stitching. So that's all. Okay, thank you very much for your watching. Please like and subscribe my channel uh, to get my new video. Thank you very much. Thank you for your supporting. Bye bye.